everybody, welcome back. And we are here at Rise and Shine, and we've got some special guests here today. I've got Jordan and Garen. How are we doing today, guys? Good. Doing pretty good? Hey, we also have another special guest that we're gonna talk about here in just a little bit. But we are here discussing the needs of animals and plants. So we've got an animal here, we've got some plants over here. So, you know, what are some of the things that you think plants, let's start with plants. You know, plants start off as a little seed, they grow up and they grow into bigger things. Like we've got a tomato plant, we've got a flower over here. What are some of the things that these plants need, do you think? Water. Need water, right? Plants need water. It's a really important thing. So, you know, if you are trying to take care of a plant, maybe you're growing some around where you live, you've got to make sure that it's getting enough water because those plants need water to live, right? So that's a great one. They need water. We need water, right? As, as humans, we need water. So those, that's a really big one. What is something else that a plant might need for it to survive and to live? Food. It needs some food, right? Where do you think it's getting the food from? Like, do, do we have to think it just eats it? Or it's getting it from the soil. Okay, so the soil is providing some of that food and that sun is also really important. So that's part of the need of the plant too, is the sunlight because that sunlight is helping the plant to create that food and, and to absorb that food. And so it's a whole process and it's fascinating. It's something that we should all be learning about. So our plants need that food. It gets that nutrients from the soil. It needs the water. What else do you think a plant might need? Right. Okay, roots are definitely a part of that plant, right? And let's talk about the parts of a plant. So we know that the roots are coming from below, right? The, the plant is down here. And so the, the roots are what is kind of taking in that nutrients and they're taking in that soil. And so we may not be able to see the roots because it's underneath the ground or it's in that soil, but their roots are there. And then as the plant is growing up, you're gonna see that there is this thing called the stem. So the stem of the plant is there in the middle and then we have the leaves and depending on the type of the plant, we may have little fruit like we have on our tomato plant that's starting to come through or we may have little flowers here. And so those are the different parts of the plant. So let's kind of transition a little bit and let's talk about our other special guest. So who do we have over here in the bowl? Trevor. We've got Trevor. Okay, Trevor, what is Trevor? A toad. We've got a toad, okay. So y'all brought in Trevor the toad, and this is awesome. So let's talk about some of the needs that Trevor has too, because our toads, our animals, they have needs too to survive and to live. So what are some of the things that you think animals are gonna need to live? Um, food. They've gotta have food too, right? Now, it may be different food than what our, our plants needed. We said plants needed food, and it's getting it from the soil. Different animals are going to be eating different things, but they've gotta have food just like we need food, right? What's something else that uh, maybe your toad, or Trevor here, is going to need to live? Air. It's gonna need air, right? It's gotta have some air, so needs air. Anything else? What are some other things? A habitat. A habitat, that's a great word. A habitat is like a shelter. It's gotta have kind of like a home, right? Animals need that habitat, that shelter. Uh, and where does, where does Trevor live? Like what's the shelter or the habitat for Trevor? He lives under our basketball goal. He lives under your basketball goal. That's really cool. So water, food, those are things that not only animals and plants need, but us as humans need too, right? So it's important that we're taking in the right foods, the right things, and all of that's great. So thank you guys so much for joining me. This has been awesome. I appreciate you. So have a great day and we'll see you again real soon.